Okay, this is how I use one of my favorite encoders, Find a Code, um, to see if two CPT codes have any bundling issues. Is one considered bundled into the other? So you um, look at their main menu, and over to the right-hand side, under Scrubbing and Validation, you've got these two NCCI Edit Validator links. One is for non-facility, one is for facility. So because we're talking about a physician's office in the example I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to click non-facility. And mm -hmm. it brings up, um, actually I brought up the last search I had um, that I had checked on these two. So let me grab the, the ones I want to look at for this demonstration. And I was trying to respond to this question here about a patient coming in for a regular office visit that has back pain, so it's a regular UNM, with this adjustment code. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to pop it into my validator. And then on the next line, I'm just going to grab any old um, e and m code, 99213, and then I'm going to click Validate. And so I'm getting the green OK symbol, so there are no CCI or bundling edits. It's nice, too, because it gives you a nice description. And this is uh, great. You can print it off you know, to show the you know, physician or someone that you might be training. But in my opinion, you are fine to code both of these because um, if you have an e &M note with a history, exam, and medical decision making that's separate from the procedure for this um, adjustment code, then you're good to go. But the key is the documentation. It's good enough to like have a scenario like this, but if your physician did not document a really strong e &M and a really strong procedure note, then the payer could come back and um, audit that and not agree with you billing both. So make sure you have good, strong documentation. Hope that helps. Happy coding!